Welcome back everyone to Beyond Reality. So I have not made a video in a few days, just uh, various things going on, you know, Thanksgiving, stuff like that. And I can't remember what I've done since the last episode. I don't know, but uh, I have built this little house here. It's just kind of a little nine by nine, I think, or I think that's what it is. Might have been a little bit bigger. Nope, that's nine by nine. Might have to build another room on here, or maybe I'll build underground. Mm, no, I think I'll try to stick to building above ground if possible. So I've done a lot of mining. And that is probably an understatement. And oh, is this new? I, I apparently set up some basic mana generation. I don't know when I did that. <laughs> or why I did that. But as you can see, ore's chest, very full. Got uh, lots of stuff that can become iron, copper, tin and we're going to need a lot of copper and tin because as far as i can tell in order to progress in greg tech we're going to need something like the steam alloy smelter and uh, eventually we're going to need to be able to create batteries and the only way you can create batteries is you have to have something called battery alloy and it doesn't say how to create this in any eye, but you need to put in the amounts it says of the of the metals it says, uh, four lead and one antimony, into the Greg Tech alloy smelter to get five of these ingots. So we're eventually going to need to get around to do doing that. I think I am going to go ahead and get an Ender IO alloy smelter because in order to make the fluid conduits we're going to need quite clear glass. The alternative we could we could have for moving steam around would probably be using <laughs> I can't talk. Uh would probably to use Ah would probably be to use build craft fluid pipes but i don't think i found any cactus yet uh let's take a look at the map no i've actually not explored that much according to this map which is kind of surprising what was that i don't know what that sound was maybe it was whatever that loud vehicle is outside uh, these oil tanks I mostly took because there was a big pool of oil in my way of where I was mining copper. And let's see what else has happened. I am not sure. What were we trying to do? I think we were trying to make maybe the alloy smelter. And let's go ahead and smelt up some of this iron dust as well. There's no reason to just have it sitting here. Here we go, and that should automatically start extracting the ingots eventually. There we go, and put them in the chest up here. And we're going to start working on moving into that house pretty soon as well. So we're also going to want some bronze, but I'll get to that later. And I think the best way to make bronze is... That is not how you spell bronze. There we go. We need to make... Bronze dust from Greg Tech, I believe. Is that... Okay, well, I... I'll just... <laughs> you just make it with the dust like you would expect, and that gives you three. So it's not as good as the forestry recipe, which I'm pretty sure doesn't work. I've tried it. 
and uh, but it's better than the Greg Tech recipe with ingots. Why does that cow sound so close? Okay, and really quickly, I'm going to check just to make sure my recording settings are right. Okay, it looks like we are recording everything okay. I can't remember. If, I think I may have mentioned it in the previous video, but I uh, had some trouble recently and had to reinstall a lot of programs. So, just making sure everything is right. So you may notice I'm using these Greg Tech tools now, and these are actually all iron, I believe. And these, uh, they have their own durability system. They don't work like normal pickaxes do, but I worked it out, and I think, let's see. Yeah, it uses 75 durability when breaking stone, and I assume other blocks are the same, but I could be wrong. And that works out to, I think it was 370 durability, give or take. It was 300-something, so about 50% more than a regular iron pickaxe. At about the same cost, really, you have to craft these heads on their own, which is a plate, two ingots. And if you were to just craft a vanilla iron pickaxe with Greg Tech, it's pretty much the same thing, except it only it costs two sticks instead of one. <laughs> so same recipe basically, but more durability. So that's the way to go. Plus, you can just craft a bunch of the heads and carry sticks, and that way you can have uh, lots of pickaxes in your inventory basically with only two slots and then just craft them whenever you need them. I don't think that redstone engine being solid red like that is a problem, but it kind of freaks me out still. Okay, so I was wanting to make the alloy smelter, which in this mod pack requires four blocks of iron here. And this, oh, that requires either steel plates or refined iron plates, which I don't think we can get either of these. I don't think there's any way to get refined iron ingots. So, how, how exactly can we move the steam around? I'll be right back. Okay, so I forget what exactly I was doing before I was interrupted by my dog and then several other things came after that as tends to happen whenever I get interrupted one thing leads to four others uh, but I believe I was talking about moving fluids around and have not found a cactus yet what are you ah ah it's a brain slime I don't know what a brain slime is but it wanted to get on my head ah okay Uh, so they gave me pink slime balls. What can I use these for? Any place a slime ball is used, I guess. That was interesting. So, moving fluids around. We've got fluid pipes, fluid conduits, neither of which we can make. Uh... Let's see, is there anything else? Uh, oh, we've, got, we've actually got the extra utilities stuff. What do you require? Redstone and lapis, or an ender pearl and lapis. Those are expensive, but I could afford them. And what do those pipes cost me? Transfer pipe is cheap enough. So I think I could make that. That should work. Alright. And I'm just out here gathering some clay because I am going to need bricks for some of these steam-based machines. So, I was on Steam yesterday looking for 
uh, Steam, uh, looking for new games, something I could possibly make a series on, stumbled onto a game called Wings of B, and I've played it a little bit. It's pretty fun, still a bit buggy, uh, but uh, there was a patch today that uh, possibly fixed some performance issues, so I'm going to have to take a look into that later. Whoops. Got to go back to the cave house, not the new house. There's nothing nothing in there yet. And it is going to be a pain to move all this stuff over. I can't think of any, like, bag or anything that I can make. Well, there are some backpacks from Red Power, but uh, I remember these things being buggy. I don't know if that's still the case or not, but... Either way, they require a lot of string, which I don't have anyway. Okay, so we got some bronze ingots, and let's cook up some of this clay. Not all of it, save a little bit in case we need it. Okay, and let's go back to steam. And we need a small coal boiler, or I think there was something else that we could use. I think it was called sol solar boiler. I don't know how good this is. It requires silver plates, which we could probably make. Bronze, small bronze fluid pipe. Oh, okay. There's some fluid pipe. Uh, the, the, the fluid pipes from Greg Tech as well. How did I miss those? They're made from bronze, and we can make those. So that has got to be the way to go. Okay, and getting bricks, and I've already got my bronze, so why don't we make some of those pipes? Wait, these are bricks. And this is bronze. So it was a wrench, and what was it? A hammer? No. File? No. What was it? Oh, is it because my hammer is almost dead? That's... No, wait, that's because it requires plates. Silly me. I'm gonna have to make a new hammer in a moment. I wonder if you can make a bronze hammer and how good it is. Oh, that, that'll take forever to find out. Probably. And there goes my hammer. Okay. So let's see. Let's make some sticks for the hammer. And still don't know what that error message is. Let's see. What are 19,200 durability? That is less than iron, so I think iron is better. Okay, and small bronze fluid pipes. They have a heat limit as well. That's interesting. Okay, and now we want, I think, Let's put in boiler. Small coal boiler. It's one thing we could do. What's with the weird faceless furnace? That's interesting. But yeah, I think that's probably the way to go. Oh, I wonder if it can run off of charcoal or lignite coal. I guess we'll find out. Probably should have tested that ahead of time. Okay, and then you need a furnace. And... Wait, I've already got bricks on me. Brick blocks. You go there. Small coal boiler. And now we're going to need the steam alloy smelter.
which will require some of these fluid pipes. Two furnaces and a bricked bronze hull, which is doesn't look too bad. And then what was it in the middle of furnace? No, what was it? A hammer, right. What? Why'd you make that sound? Okay, and put you right there. It is so nice having four crafting grids. This would be so painful if we did not. Okay, and now we need another furnace. This is riveting stuff, isn't it? And the fluid pipes, which we're going to have to make some more of. There we go. And I believe this might be all we need at the moment. So let's take some of this lignite coal. And I don't know what exactly I want to do with this at the moment. I haven't actually thought that far ahead. <laughs> but I do know that to get some of the machines, we need batteries. And to get batteries, we need battery alloys. But I don't have an intimidy anyway. But I'm sure there is some stuff I can do with the steam alloy smelter. And if not, I guess I could just have it getting charged up. Or can I? You know, I'm actually going to have to experiment with this a bit more in creative mode. Hmm. So this is the creative world that I've been messing around in a little bit and trying to figure out exactly how the steam power works. And I was kind of thinking maybe you could put a fluid tank up here oops, and uh, store the steam, but it doesn't seem to work very well. I don't know why. Another thing I was concerned about is when the steam in the system is maxed out, what happens? Well, what happens is it'll just vent like uh, maybe a third to a quarter of the steam that's in the boiler here. So I don't think we have to worry about anything blowing up. And I'm also having some trouble getting the smelter to work. I think if I were to break this and then put it back, it should work again. Maybe. There we go. So, I don't know what this thing's problem is. I, I think it's a bit buggy still. Hmm. Let's see if it'll... I don't know if it'll have enough steam to do both sets. But this is the battery alloy I was talking about. Oh, yep, yeah, there it goes. It says not enough steam or whatever the heck that means I don't know what its problem is uh, and yeah I know I got a sol solar boiler on the bottom here that's not doing anything <laughs> I don't know this is weird it's like it's just kind of buggy but uh, it looks like it will not explode which was my primary concern so I'm going to switch back to my normal world. I found that every time I want to switch worlds in this mod pack, I have to restart my my instance. There's just no other choice. It I can go back to the title screen normally, but if I try to select a world, it'll just take me back to the title screen again. Why, Greg? Why? Very appropriate. Okay, well, that, uh, that uh, took forever, as always. So, let's see. What do we need to do next? Why am I not getting any sound? Hang on. Okay, finally done restarting my game for, like, the fifth time today already. This is getting mildly frustrating. And this pack takes a very long time to load. Alright, well let's take our two machines here. And what in the world do I want to do with them? 
<laughs> uh, I probably should have figured that part out. Hmm. Well, I would like to make that battery alloy, but I haven't found antimony yet, I don't think. No. Don't believe so. Well, we could go ahead and hook these up and test to see if they work with the lignite coal or not. And I'll probably wrap up this episode pretty soon, since it looks like I'm going to have to do some more grindy stuff, exploring, looking for... I don't know. Uh, I've lost my train of thought. Okay, steam alley smelter, and I guess we don't even need the, the pipes at this point, but if I had more machines, I could just run a line like that. And I don't know how to break these. Will this work? No. How do you break them? Uh, this doesn't look promising. Do you need a Greg Tech wrench? Hmm. I need to go light up that tree. So if anyone has any suggestions as to what I should be doing at this moment in the series, let me know. Um, what did I come back here for? Oh yeah, a wrench. Greg Tech wrench. Let's see if you work. If not, might have to have a, a soft hammer, maybe? I don't know. So we can use ironwood, rubber... Or wood. Okay, well let's go ahead and make a wood hammer really quickly in case that is what we need. It's like a door with a stick on it. <laughs> That's funny. Okay, let's see. Do I... Oh, I think you have to left-click to break stuff with the wrench. There we go. That's how you do stuff. Wait, what does this hammer work? No, you can block with it. What? Uh. That was weird. Very strange. Okay, so... Don't know what we can do with the alloy smelter at the moment. Oh, dear. It actually has some recipes in it. Wait, I wonder... So, was the battery alloy... recipe... Let's see, do you make... You make the ingots directly. Let's go to alloy smelter. Uh, oh, it does actually show the recipes. I was just too stupid to look this far in. Okay. Shows a bunch of other junk, though. Yeah, NEI is really a mess in <laughs> Greg Tech. Uh, I feel like they could have done things better somehow, but apparently there are 2,064 recipes with the alloy smelter here, and yeah, there's no way I could ever go through all these. I would just have to uh, find what I want, and then find the its alloy smelter recipe or whatever. So let's see if this will take lignite coal. It will. Okay. So I might as well give it, I don't know, a few pieces. And I guess that'll... Oh, it'll need water as well. Right. I guess I could just, you know, give it a bucket of water that way. Oh, it actually holds a lot of water. So I think one of the best things to do would be to make another one of those tanks from Ender.io and take it with me. Like I had in my creative world. I don't know if I showed it, but I had a tank of water just hooked up to the boiler. 
So let's do that really quickly. So let's see how much of the recipe I can remember. I know you need these iron rods. Then I think you use a wrench to make those into the iron, the iron bars. And then I don't know. Okay, and then we would need iron ingots and glass. There we go, fluid tank. I can go fill this up with water. And I don't know if you can actually pick these up with the Greg Tech wrenches. Let's see. No, you can't. So that's why I made the Certus Quartz wrench, apparently. So let's go just snag some water really quickly. Probably a good place to wrap up the episode here. Um, and as I said before, I'm open to suggestions as to what I should be doing. I'm kind of flying blind here. I don't mind getting a few hints, but at the same time, I do kind of like figuring things out on my own. So I guess I need to go record an episode of the Direwolf 20 pack pretty soon. I don't know how frequent videos will be exactly. Uh, you know, for the first few episodes of this, I've done about every other day and the Direwolf 20 pack every other day. I may not be able to keep that up, especially since uh, my one week break is over for the time being. So Got to go back to driving my sister to school. I think she has one or two weeks left for the semester. And then she's going to move into a dorm, thankfully. <laughs> okay, so how exactly could we hook this up? I I don't think this thing works that well with Greg Tech stuff, but let's see if I were to set this to push, if I can. Oh, it's actually working. Imagine that. Okay, and this thing's actually gone through a lot of fuel already. Might be because it's still heating up. Now, I wonder if the temperature bleeds off over time. The bad thing is that I chose a connected texture for the floor, so it looks kind of weird now. Hmm. Well, I'll worry about the details later, and on my own time, I'll get the items moved over here. I've talked enough, so thank you for watching, as always. Don't forget to subscribe if you're not already, and I will see you next time.